this is our Model R. I thought I'd take a minute and show you some of the starting features of this. So, as you probably know, the Model R does not start with a starting motor like a normal, you know, your modern engines. What it does is it has this uh, pony motor right here. This pony motor is different than all of the other John Deere pony motors. This is, from what I understand, a lot more similar to Caterpillar's pony motors. And it just has two pistons that are horizontally opposed to each other. So you have one piston coming out here with your valve, excuse me, with your spark plug there. And then on the other side here, you have your other piston right there. This is, like I say, it's just a little two-cylinder engine. It has a magneto similar to the magneto, that Wyco X magneto that you have on, um, you know, your normal um, letter tractors. But this has, the advance on this magneto is less. It's only 12 and a half degrees, I think, um, instead of 25 degrees. So this is your starting motor. The starting motor gas container or gas can is right here. It is just this little cup right here that holds about a quart of gasoline. And that is the starting motor. Now, your controls right here, what you have are, this is your compression release. So this releases the compression for the big engine. This lever right here activates the starting, I think it's called the starting bendex on the, you know, on the pony motor and it turns over your big, your big engine. This is your fuel shut on, shut off and turn on, I guess, for your gasoline engine, your pony motor, your starting motor. Um, this is the choke for your starting motor and this is the starting lever for your, um, for your pony motor. Up here, we have the throttle for the big engine. The pony motor on this does not have a throttle. It just has a single uh, speed. And here is your exhaust right here for the pony motor. So when I start this, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to first of all, turn on your fuel uh, pull out the starter and maybe choke the starting motor if it needs it that'll start up and it'll run for you know We'll let it run for a minute or so After it gets after it runs while it's running what it's doing is it's going to be warming up The exhaust from that goes in and it warms up the intake the exhaust of your start of your if you can see right here your exhaust right here from your pony motor actually warms up the intake air on the big diesel engine. So we'll let that starting motor warm up and it will help the big engine have some warm air to start. Then what we're gonna do, after the pony motor runs for a minute, then we will go ahead and pull the compression release back. And while we're holding the compression release back, we are also going to pull back the starting lever. That will begin to turn the big engine over. We're going to turn the big engine over until we see oil pressure right here raise up to whatever it is, probably around 20 or 30 PSI. At that point, we can then re um, release the, the decompression lever, the compression release lever, and at that point, it will be starting or it will be turning over the engine with full compression. However, there will not be any fuel because the throttle is still off. Uh, we'll let that turn over for a as long as we want. If it's warm outside, we won't need to let it turn over as long. But if it's cold outside, we'll let it turn over a little bit longer because that compressing of that air inside of the, um, the engine will begin to heat up the engine combustion chamber. The longer we let that heat up, um, the better. And keep in mind, all this time the pony motor is running and it's warming up the air that's coming in. So as long as we can get this diesel engine as warm as we can get this diesel engine, that'll help it start. We have no glow plugs, we have nothing like that to help start, to help warm the engine. So we'll let it turn over here a little bit. And then when we want to start the diesel engine, 
then we will give it throttle. We'll push that throttle forward. At that point, fuel is, uh, is allowed to enter um, the combustion chamber. The injectors are spraying the fuel in there at the right time. And then um, the big diesel engine should start up. Once the big diesel engine starts up, then we will uh, obviously let go of the let go of the the cranking lever, and we will then turn off the fuel of the pony motor. At that point, everything will be good to go, and the engine will just start right up. Okay, that's it. That's how you start it. Hopefully you found that in uh, that video interesting. I know there's already a couple of videos of starting these old diesels, these R's in 80s, 820s, 830s. There's already a couple of them online. Uh, but uh, I appreciate you watching. If you liked it, go ahead and like, comment, anything, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.